El ciclo de las rocas. En el aula de las ciencias de sexto grado, el estudiante aprende sobre el ciclo de las rocas, ejemplo, la roca sedimentaria, la metamórfica y la ígnea conforme a los estándares del estado. Un estudiante de este nivel de grado está en la etapa operacional formal de acuerdo a la teoría de Piaget. En esta etapa, el estudiante empieza a pensar lógicamente y hace conclusiones sobre información disponible. Por esta razón escogí hacer una actividad que requiere de hacer inferencias al llevar a cabo un experimento. La actividad es estructurada y en parte naturalista ya que la maestra introducirá el concepto con un corto video y dirigirá el experimento dando tiempo al estudiante de escribir en sus propias palabras sus observaciones sobre cómo se forman los tres tipos de rocas. Ok, today we're going to talk about the rock cycle. So first we're going to watch a video on my computer and then after that we will do an experiment and let's begin. The rock cycle is a sequence of events that describes the possible fates of a rock as it is transformed from one type of rock to another. The key points that we need to remember with this rock cycle would be igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic materials. We're going to use a box and we have, in the box we have aluminum foil, scissors, candle clip and we will be using the lighter to light up the candle and a hammer and some crayons. Now these crayons are going to be the minerals to form a rock. Okay. <clears throat> oh and I need a pencil sharpener. sharpener. Okay. So the first thing we will do I'm going to give you a worksheet, and here's your pencil, and the first thing we'll, we're going to do is use a sharpener, and we're going to place minerals, we're going to make minerals by sharpening, you're going to carefully sharpen okay. 10 times, and with your finger, you're going to hold it in the middle and make a bowl. Open your sharpener up and you're going to um, put all the shavings, your minerals, in the bowl. <clears throat> now let's open and see what happens. When those minerals mix together, do you remember what the type of rock they made? Um, you want to place it on on the piece of wood, and you want to place another piece of wood on top of it, and you're going to hammer a few times with the hammer. <coughs> so you want to hold the piece of wood before you hammer. Yeah. Now it 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 changed and it becomes. The rock. Like. Mm. Mm -hmm. Metamorphic? Metamorphic rock. And you're going yeah. to grab a clip from the box and hold, clip it together like from an edge and then we're going to turn on the candle Okay, and you're going to count um, in seconds like if we're counting seconds to 30 seconds and you're going to place your your bowl with your minerals uh, above so count out loud action okay so what was our sixth procedure okay and let's see what our result is not that it's, it doesn't feel hot anymore go ahead and Open it up. Open up the bowl. So what happened? They like clump together. Uh huh. Yeah. We can igneous rocks. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> now we're gonna talk about what we learned with this activity. Pieces okay. of minerals. 
minerals. Good. So pieces of minerals. Be right there. Pieces of minerals combine to form sand. Rock. Little pieces cement together to form a sedimentary rock. When heat and pressure are added, it changes and becomes uh, metamorphic? Yes. Keyword changes. And then when that remelts, it it's igneous rock, that's right. Yes. Okay. All right. So that concludes our rock cycle. So it from minerals to from minerals to rock. From little pieces put together form sedimentary rock. Uh huh. From sedimentary rock it's to metamorphic rock and then it's to igneous rock and then it goes all over again. Uh-huh. Good job.